Hey guys, it's Decoran here. In today's video, I'm going to do the multi-stream with the new ATA multi-stream plugin. That is right. If you guys do not know, Hello Teller and ATA have worked together to create a new plugin that allows you the multi-stream, like the multi-stream plugin I've converted in the past. But this one is a little bit more simpler, but it also has some complexities. And I thought I'd just show you how to install it and how to set it on up. So let's get into it. So first thing you're gonna do is have to go to this page here to get the Atom Vertical plugin. I will have a link to it down below. But once you're on this page here, you're gonna have a few different options. The first thing you wanna actually do is click download the multi-stream for free. This is a free plugin, we can easily download it. It might just take a second. But once it starts downloading on the top right and installed, you wanna to go to your file explorer, go under your download folder, and you wanna just load up the Atom Multi-Stream Windows installer and it's pretty straightforward and install, you just click yes agree next and it should just install the obs to your file location so now once it's loaded you might want to update your obs if you need to for the time being i'm not going to mess with this for the time now you might not see it right off the rip it's very similar to the original plugin for multi-stream where you have to go top left under docs you gotta look down and find the actual atom multi-stream and once you click on this you'll get this little icon here you drag it around wherever you want we're just gonna place it for your time here on our right and then we can just drag around our dash. If you do want free mobility in the movie, like whatever you want, just make sure to click lock docs, unlock docs, so we can do it. Now, when you have access to the right off the rip, you will not have much in here. You might have like a built-in stream. It might grab some information if you already have the Atom vertical plugin installed. Like on my stream PC here, I already have like pretty much it all set up to go because it grabbed information out of the vertical plugin, also out of my main OBS, to set up everything so I can literally just click these buttons to go live. Now, you might not have it set up for yourself right off the rip. Now, how it works it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this on up if you're new. So the main canvas is of course gonna be your main canvas in OBS and it's gonna grab the information for your stream key and URL. So if I was to go into my settings for OBS, I was to go under stream, I go in here, see I click Twitch, it's got Twitch but it doesn't have a stream key, I would add this information. So I just go to Twitch, I go under creator dashboard on the top right, when in here, I go under settings. Once I'm in settings, I just grab my stream key and we just copy this and then control V and actually our OBS main output. And by applying that, it will just take that information and add it in here, which is pretty nice. Now, of course, you will not see that if you go in the settings and go under the main canvas, it will not show it up because this is a part of the main OBS. So if you want to now stream to two different platforms instead of just Twitch alone, what you got to do is click add an output and you click whatever platform you want to be. For me, I'm going to say YouTube for the time being. And then when you're in here, you're of course going to go to YouTube and grab your stream key. Just go to YouTube, go to the top right under upload icon, click on it and make sure to go live. So we just copy our stream key right here and then we can just paste this into it, which is awesome. And that will create an output. So now we can stream to two different platforms. And once we click OK, you'll see our main canvas can now stream to Twitch and also YouTube. So the cool thing about this is you can get really complex in how you want to set this on up. So you can literally stream multiple platforms in different formats. So this is horizontal or 16 by nine for actually YouTube and also Twitch. But let's just say, for example, if you want to get even more crazy than that, you could theoretically stream to YouTube and Twitch horizontal, but also vertically stream to both platforms if you really want to. But of course, this is a little bit weird because like for YouTube, you have to set it up a completely different stream. And then for Twitch, you have a whole completely different channel because uh, Twitch doesn't allow you to stream uh, two different formats to the same channel. So like you can get really creative with this, but you have to know the restrictions of some of the platforms. And if you do want to actually mess the settings for the actually canvases, all you have to do is go back to your settings. You go to your main canvas and then you go into but when you get in the events settings this is where it gets more interesting first of all you can choose the encoder for the stream so it'll default to whatever it is for your main canvas so mine's like uh, nvidia h264 but you want to switch this you can switch it to nvenc or something else or even x264 but i'm not going to mess with that for the time being but let's just say that for example if you want you can actually go in here you can change the actual fps you can rescale you can choose if it wants to be cbr constant bit rate the bit rate you can you get the complexity of this thing you can go full deep with it which is pretty nice in itself which is really cool i'm not a huge fan of layout that's just me thing personally and then for audio you can do the exact same thing where if you want to actually select what audio track you want to do instead of using the main encoder you can customize it by clicking like uh, aac and when you click aac you can click what audio track you want to actually use for streaming to that platform so let's say for example you want to stream to youtube you want to use track one because youtube's going to only have your gameplay and mic it's track one then you can set up track two for twitch that way you can stream your gameplay uh mic music music all to that platform and then you can kind of just select in here and then you can choose the audio bit rate since i use 32 samples i'll use 32 samples and then you can do exactly like that and then of course if you do get the actual vertical plugin all you have to do is actually get access to it here which is really nice you can click on this it'll take you to the page 
it'll let you download it and once it's downloaded all you have to do is go to your file explorer again you'll get the vertical plugin you can just install this onto your computer and then reset obs and then it'll just install it onto your pc so you can see the atem plugin has already been installed after i reset my computer so we're just going to move the atem plugin for the time being to the left hand side and then if you want to mess the ATEM settings, all you have to do is go in your gear icon and you want to add a stream. You can click an output. So for example, here we want to add our Twitch. We could just call it Twitch. We can grab our stream key. Just copy that. Paste that on in here and get our URL. Now we'll have a link to this page down below if you are interested in how to get your Twitch URL because I know they made it so like you have to go to this page and now they actually get it. So for me, I'm near Ashburn. I just copy this and I just take that information and paste this into my server. Then I click OK and you can see now let me just reset OBS just in case. I don't think it reset properly. Okay, there we go. Now that we reset it OBS, you can see now it took the information from the vertical plugin and placed it into the vertical canvas, which is awesome. And now if you want to add uh, another stream, you want a vertical stream, not only to, of course, Twitch, you could also do a vertical stream to YouTube by just adding another actual output by going to your setting gear for the item plugin. Uh, and then go into canvas and click a new output and then you just add youtube like we did earlier and grab the stream king url so i think this plugin is pretty cool now do i think it's as good as the original multi-stream plugin i don't think it's as good as the original multi-stream plugin because the multi-stream plugin you can already set it like the same thing and honestly i like the look of this one better it's just kind of easier in my personal opinion but i will say this one is nice because it isn't like as flaky if that makes sense because the whole thing with the original it was a multi-stream plugin it was kind of iffy to install because like people were getting weird it was malware and stuff like that i don't blame them one bit i haven't had any problems with malware fit so i can completely understand where they're coming from though so this is a little bit more like simple and it's all clean and doesn't feel super sus if that makes sense now the cool thing about this is you can get really complex with this if you really want to go crazy you can literally start streaming to other platforms besides youtube and twitch and also tiktok if you as long as you have a tiktok stream key did a whole video on how to get one uh that link at the end of your sister said uh but you can set up the stream to facebook trovo uh, X or Twitter. I'm just going to call it Twitter because if you say X, it sounds super sus. Kick and other platforms. So like the, the, the ability of the stream to multiple platforms is pretty nice. As long as you have access, like your streaming URL for the other platforms, you can absolutely do so. But the real question is, how does it actually perform? So the big thing to keep in mind, this is very similar to at the actual original OBS multi-stream plugin. So the more platforms you stream to, the more performance it will put on your computer. It's not like Restream where Restream sends a, your a stream to a server and sends it out that way. So this will actually Actually take more hardware so let's say if i stream to youtube i use 6000 bitrate then i want to stream to actually twitch as well and so that's going to be 6000 it's going to be 12000 bitrate so i'll be using two times the performance and the more platforms stream to you keep multiplying that number i will say if you have more than eight gigs to six gigs of vram you can usually do up to two to three platforms and then you have 12 gigs of vram and it's just a dedicated stream pc you can absolutely do up to four to five or six platforms at a time for me i have a personal streaming pc and i have like 12 gigs of vram so I can stream up to six platforms if I really want to. And if you want to actually go live with it, all you would have to do is click the actual go live button and actually the plugin. So this would take me to go live on Twitch. I also could just click on your normal start streaming. And the same thing for actually streaming to YouTube. You just click the same thing. For some reason, it's not interacting right with YouTube, but let me try the actual vertical plugin thing here. Okay, that worked. As long as we're live on Twitch, it should just work properly, which you can see here. We are live on Twitch with no issues. It says unstable, but usually it takes a second for it to load properly. Perfectly fine. And YouTube should be live vertically too. Yeah, so it does work. So that is awesome. But that is, of course, the new ATA multi-stream plugin. What do you guys think about it in the comments down below? Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a really cool product that ATA and Hellas Heller, or Heller, Heller, I can't say his name right. My tongue is getting twisted. Made. I think it's really cool. I still prefer the original multi-stream plugin. So I'm going to keep using that since if it ain't broken, don't fix it. You know what I mean? But uh, will you guys be using this for yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed to miss some future content. And also, I just want to say a quick thank you because we just hit 9,000 subscribers. We're now less than 1,000 subscribers away from 10,000 on the tech channel here. So I'm very much appreciative for all you guys' support. If you want to help me get to actually 10K, you know what to do. Get subscribed. And until then, have a great day, okay? Cool.